One, two, three, Lily's Neighborhood in Numbers. This is Lily's Neighborhood in Numbers book. This is Lily's house. It has one mailbox, one roof, and one front door. But Lily's neighborhood has much more to explore. Can you help her count all the things she sees? Here we go. One, two, three. Lily doesn't travel very far when she sees two cars, two houses, and two leafy trees. Lily sees three dogs playing with sticks. Three dogs could give lots of puppy licks. Count how many big windows you see. Can you find any more groups of three? One, two, three. One, two, three. Lily turns and looks up at the sky. Four fine feathery birds are flying by. Also, five trees and flowers thrive. Count them please. One, two, three, four, five. Six children slide in on the merry-go-round play. Lily hopes to go back to the park and play too one day. Lily's Park. Wow, what a fun surprise. Seven jungle animals Lily spies. If you can name them all, you are very wise. Add one more to seven and you've got eight. Eight beautiful blossoms, isn't that great? Nine children near the pond, each quacking like a duck. If you can count each duck, it may bring Lily good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, counting the ducks did bring good luck. Lily sees an ice cream truck. Count how many flavors are on the ice cream sign. If you counted a ten, you did just fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you name 10 flavors? Which do you like best? Tasting them all could be a really fun test. Lily had fun exploring her town in numbers from one to 10. Tomorrow she hopes you'll join her to explore all over again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lily, we hope you enjoyed this story. The end. Lily, try one of our other personalized books at firsttimebooks.com. The end.